Well, there's new trouble tonight for the man known as the zip tie guy, and it shows what other problems accused Capitol rioters could be facing outside of their criminal charges. Let's go to our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, who's obtained this information today. And Jeremy, what's happening right now? Well, Marius, we just learned in the last hour that sh a sheriff's deputy went to the West Nashville home of Eric Munchell to serve an eviction warrant. It is the kind of ripple effect that can now face these accused rioters as they were first identified by the public, then arrested, but still have to pay their bills. This is what's posted outside of the door of Eric Munchell's West Nashville apartment, a detainer warrant reading he owes more than $2,500 to the owner of the property. You may remember this is the apartment where a federal warrant claims a trove of weapons were found inside after Munchell returned from his involvement in the riot. He earned the nickname Zip Tie Guy from this photograph showing him carrying zip ties during the sacking of the Capitol. So, Jeremy, we know Munchell was just ordered to home confinement pending his trial, but this is kind of how things add up. He was in jail, we know that, but can he stay at an apartment where he owes money? Right, so we had the same question, Marius. The answer is that the sheriff's department, when they went to serve this eviction warrant, he was not there, apparently. So the question is, where is he? Well, we combed through the public records that showed that he, he and his mother, who, of course, are, is also charged in this case, both of them were allowed to go into home confinement. But the records of where that they are serving, that is not public. So at this time, we know that they are in home confinement. We just don't know where. Tracy? Jeremy Finley tonight, thank you. Head over to WSMV.com. You can find all of our News 4 Investigates pieces involving the zip tie suspect and his mother's charges in the U.S. Capitol riot. And you can trust that News 4 will continue to follow the story as more information becomes available.